allegations emerged on Monday after millions of documents from a law firm in Panama were leaked, revealing that in the 1980s, Mr Cameron's father set up an offshore fund called Blairmore, based in the Bahamas, which never paid any UK tax. All week, David Cameron has faced tough questions and worse headlines about whether he gained from any offshore investments, all the while campaigning for greater tax transparency at international summits. Well, tonight, finally, he gave his answer. In 1997, he had indeed bought a holding in his father's company worth £12,000. Samantha and I had a joint account and we owned uh, 5,000 units in Blairmore Investment Trust, which we sold in January uh, 2010. Uh, that was worth something like £30,000. I had paid, I paid um, income tax on the dividends, um, but there was a profit on it, but it was less than the capital gains tax allowance, so I didn't pay capital gains tax, but it was subject to all the UK taxes in all the normal ways. It's on a fundamental misconception, which is that Blairmore Investment, a unit trust, was set up uh, with the idea of avoiding tax. It wasn't. It was set up after exchange controls went so that people who wanted to invest in dollar-denominated shares and companies could do so.